Hey everyone, welcome back to Console. Last week I mentioned I was going to ping Tapas and ask him if he was going to write about the JavaScript event queue. Turns out he had already written about the JavaScript event queue back in 2018, so uh, we're going to be taking a look at that. Uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So after posting the previous two videos, I tweeted Tapas and he provided me two links to uh, some event loop related materials that he had written about back in 2019. So we'll be going over both of those articles in this one. The first one's uh, more basic beginner uh, related content to the event loop. And then the second one, he talks about the differences between micro and macro tasks, the task queue and the job queue as well. So we'll be looking at both of those today. So uh, here's a general overview of what we'll be going over today is the call stack, the web APIs, and the event queues, right? And how those three kind of interrelate relate to one another. As an aside, I just finished the structure and interpretation of computer programs uh, by the MIT guys back in 1985, I believe. Uh, they recorded their lectures and they actually go through this in very great detail using Lisp. Uh, and I think it's a very good thing to look at because it's generalizable. Uh, this is kind of the same idea, just you know, related to JavaScript. I think there's quite a few languages that took the idea from those uh, that course, uh, SICP as it's often called, and uh, kind of modernized it, I guess, here. And so that's kind of, to me, effectively what's going on here with the JavaScript and the event loop. Um, so you can see here I'm opening up latentflip.com, which is uh, Philip Roberts' uh, website that he built back when he did his JF, JS Conf talk about the same thing. Uh, so you can actually play around with all of this stuff that we'll be talking about in this particular uh, blog post. And I highly recommend his video. I, I watched it back when I was in college, uh, when I was lear first learning JavaScript, but uh, I watched it, or I rewatched it, and it, it's a phenomenal talk uh, about what's going on here and things like that. And he also uses Loop here, this little tool of his, uh, to kind of illustrate while he's giving his talk in in real time, basically live, if you will. Uh, so you can always, uh, as you're going through this, play around with it yourself. Uh, as, as usual, Tapas is very good about adding GIFs into his blog post, and so what he's done is he's taken GIFs from, from Loop here in order to illustrate what he's talking about in the blog post itself. So in this introductory post, we're going to talk about three main things before we start talking about the different event queues. Uh, and the things we're going to talk about are the call stack, the web APIs, and then the event loop. And kind of the task queue is related to the event loop here. So the call stack is similar to any other programming languages. Most programming languages have a call stack, which, you know, you put frames on top of the call stack and then they're executed. They're popped off the stack and executed in kind of reverse order, if you will, of the scope uh, wherever you are in the programming language. Well, what makes JavaScript kind of interesting and a little bit unique is you've got these web APIs that the browser is providing you at runtime, right? And so anytime you are making a call to those web APIs, what will happen is they'll take the callbacks related to those web APIs and they'll put them into a queue, right? And the event loop will constantly just pull that queue, right? There's a lot more that goes on behind the scenes. We're not gonna talk about that in this particular video. If there's interest, you know, we'll certainly talk about it in future videos, but you can kind of see in this GIF kind of how those three things are related to one another, right? You've got the call stack, it's just, executing as you would expect in a synchronous fashion but anytime there's a web api call it gets tossed out to the web apis and then if there's a callback related to those web apis that'll get put into the callback queue that he's calling it here right it's typically not called that's called the task queue but he's calling it the, the callback queue here well the event loop will constantly pull that uh, that callback queue and toss it into the the uh the call stack right so it allows you to have this asynchronous style of behavior in JavaScript, even though everything is technically running on one thread, if you will. So right here, Tapas is going through uh, what's happening in the GIF in detail. I'm not going to go read through it one word by word in this video, but I highly recommend checking out this post and reading through these because they're very illustrative of what's going on. So we just got done talking about the event loop and this callback queue, as he called it in the previous post. Uh, so what we're going to talk about, and I mentioned this a little bit earlier in the video, is there are different types of queues, right? There's a task queue and there's a job queue. And there's actually more queues than this, but in this particular post, he's kind of uh, simplifying it down into these two main queues, uh, which we'll be talking about now. Before we do that, however, uh, Tapas is 
saying here he's not going to go into promises, which makes sense. Uh, he does give a good reference for promises. So if there is interest uh, for me to go over promises, I'll be more than happy to do that using that as a reference. So right here, Tapas is kind of outlining the two queues and uh, explaining what types of functionality are in each queue. So he's got these macro tasks, what he's calling them, and micro tasks, uh, also known as jobs. And he's telling you that the macro tasks involve things like set timeouts, set interval, set immediate IO, things like that. And micro tasks are usually uh, things like promises, right? And uh, so the event loop that we talked about in the previous blog post uh, we'll pull these two queues whenever it's got an empty stack and there are more queues or more uh, tasks ready to be executed effectively. The The question then becomes though, uh, what order are these queues pulled in, right? Which, which queue takes precedence effectively? Funny you should ask. That's the next section of Topaz's post here. And uh, you can see here that the event loop does is it pulls from the task queue, the quote unquote macro tasks, if you will. It will com complete one of those. And then once that is done, it will check for a micro task and then pull that queue. Uh, so typically the macro tasks get pulled first and then the micro tasks get pulled after that. Uh, another step that he doesn't mention in the blog post that happens is the rendering queue. So typically if you're running in a browser, right, you need to render things. So the rendering queue will try to run uh, at some point in, in between all these things and which is why everyone talks about uh, you know don't block the event queue that's why is because you'll get really poor rendering if you're putting too many things into the task queue which will fill up the, the uh, stack too much effectively so right here Tavis is giving you a little uh, example he'll tell you what the expected output is and just like the previous blog post which was really helpful he's gonna go through step by step and tell you why that answer is what's being printed out exactly. Again, I highly recommend going through and reading that. I'm not going to step through those steps one by one, but they are there and I uh, highly recommend reading them because it'll give you a really good idea as to what's going on here. And last but not least, a little quiz uh, to check your understanding. So leave a comment below the video and tell me what the answer is. What will be the output of running this code? I would love to see who's the smartest of my listeners. That will do it for console. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, hit the little bell. That way you're notified every time a new episode of console is released. They come out every week. So uh, if you didn't enjoy this video, hopefully you'll enjoy uh, future videos. Um, I'm really glad that I tweeted at Topus because uh, the event loop and the event queue, the task queues are probably my favorite concept in JavaScript because I'm so interested in programming languages and I think JavaScript is such a unique programming language because it functions in this kind of wonky way that most other you know, standard, I guess you could say, programming languages don't function. So I'm always interested in deep diving this concept. Um, there are some related videos, which I'll add below, that are, that are really, really good as well uh, by Philip. I mentioned him earlier. And then there's another one by Aaron Zimmer, which has a lot, uh, goes into an even deeper dive as to these various queues and how they behave in Node.js land versus the browser and with web workers. So I highly recommend checking those out as well if you're also interested in uh, this kind of concept. Until next time, I will see you next week.